Greetings art world, and people, who stand with the 99%. We are the unknown artists, we need your help in our struggle against the Ace Museum. The organization, Rebuild a Dream, is planning on holding an event at Ace Museum titled, All In For The 99%, Rebuild The Dream, and Move On.org, have claimed that no one in their organization knew that this building was a museum, until we brought it to their attention. We would like to publicly say, this is bullshit. How do you manage to rent a building for an art event, and nobody involved in the transaction bothers to mention that it is also a museum? This would have been a great selling point. Not to mention, there are 9 foot by 50 foot letters on the front of the building, that say, Ace Museum. We believe Rebuild the Dream, and MoveOn.org are knowingly lying to us. The initial email sent out by Rebuild the Dream, explicitly stated that the event was at Ace Museum. The Facebook invite for the event initially said, Ace Museum. After we brought this to their attention, Rebuild the Dream issued another email calling Ace Museum by its address, 400 La Brea Avenue, and changed the Facebook invite without ever acknowledging their mistake. They are now trying to hide their affiliations with Ace Museum. It is clear that organizer of the event and member of the 1%, Russell Simmons knows Ace Museum CEO Douglas Christmas. Russell Simmons' wife premiered her baby fat clothing line at Ace Gallery in New York, Kanye West premiered an album at Ace Gallery in Los Angeles and there are numerous photographs of Russell Simmons at exclusive, invite-only, events at Ace Gallery on the internet. Simmons received some media attention for kissing Tierney Gear on at her opening at Ace Gallery in Los Angeles. Rebuild a dream, and move, on.org, do not feel they need to move their event, or address the owners of this space, because they are paying rent to use the space. We feel that renting the space is also a mistake. This event contains many blue-chip artists, that an emerging museum should pay to exhibit, not charge people to show. Plus, Ace Museum CEO Douglas Christmas and Bruce Karatz are both big donors for the Democratic Party. And it seems a lot like this event is really just a front for the Democratic Party to co-opt the 99% for the election this fall. Ace Museum would have probably been happy to donate to this cause. Regardless of if they are renting the space or not, people who attend the event are going to see the 9 foot by 50 foot letters that say Ace Museum and believe that the Ace Museum stands with the 99%. This is simply not true, and Ace Museum is going to benefit from the publicity from the event and the increased foot traffic. We have asked Rebuild the Dream to allow the unknown artist to present an infographic that exposes the economic crime to the owners of their building. If they really are only renting this space, they should not only have no problems with this, but should encourage it as it exposes the control of the 1% over the art world. If 1% member Russell Simmons is going to keep pretending he stands with the 99%, we want him to publicly condemn the way his friend, Douglas Christmas, continually rips off artists, and recreates, and sells their artworks without their permission. We want Simmons to ask Christmas to stop using unpaid interns while he travels across the country on his private jet, and to pay the artists the resale royalties required by California state law. Christmas has vigorously fought against paying resale royalties, and is currently being sued for violating this law. We will not sit by quietly, while you use the banner of the 99%, while you publicly support the people, who are hurting us. Please watch our other video about Bruce Karras, one of the board members of the Ace Museum of Art in Los Angeles, and our video, asking the artists in the event to withdraw in protest. And please sign our petition on change.org. We are the unknown artists. We expose economic interests. We increase transparency. We aim for the distribution of wealth, and information. We will not be censored. We will not be stopped. Fuck authorship, fix the system, 